Right, they're into the last minute of added on time in Switzerland. Manchester United, are they clinging on to a point in the Champions League against young boys? Clinton? I wouldn't say clinging, they're hanging on, Jules, because young boys are not really creating any chances. But man, in possession, Man United have been poor in possession. I know, yeah, it's difficult, um, obviously, when it's 10, 10 against 11, but the quality that they have on the pitch, surely you can keep the ball and you work on this in training. They just keep giving it back. To, oh, my gosh, chance, goal! Oh, my word, it's a terrible back pass and they've won it, young boys, and you might as well say the whole stadium's on the pitch because there's everyone on there. I bet the chairman's celebrating at the moment, Jules, because every looks like every person's on the pitch celebrating the goal. But I think it was a bad back pass because I was talking to you, I think from um, Jesse Lingard it might have been, who gave it. He just switches off, he doesn't see the striker coming in, and the centre-forward's in one-on-one -on -one with David De Gea, and he puts it past him into the bottom corner. So I think it was a terrible back pass from Jesse Lingard, but I was talking to you, so I'll, I'll have to see you again but I think it was Lingbaud that gave that a bad pass away and it was a really confident finish. Can you believe it? In the 95th minute and the scenes Clinton described there, invasion of all the bench, the squad, the coaches were all on, mobbing the goal scorer and this is quite, quite incredible. David Wagner is punching the air, the former Huddersfield boss, now the manager of Young Boys and this is going to be one of the big upsets in recent Champions League history. Manchester United, with the five-time Champions League winner, Ronaldo, starting this game, scoring the first goal of the game as well. Look like they're going to lose their opening match of this season's campaign to a team playing in just the Champions League for just the second time in their history. A 95th minute goal and uh, Manchester United really kicking themselves in the foot with the, the red card for Wan-Bissaka uh, after 35 minutes and now... Uh, still to see that the replay of the goal, but uh, seemingly gifting the ball on a plate to young boys. And Sibachu uh, looks like he's taken it with open arms. And young boys are seconds away from a famous, famous result. In fact, is it all over? Yeah. It is. Well, it is all that. over. And young boys <laughs> have beaten Manchester United by two goals to one. A United side knocked out in the group stage last season. The strength in the squad with the likes of Iran, with Sancho and, of course, with the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. And yet they have gone down to defeat in Bern. Uh, Clinton, come back in. I mean, can you quite believe what you've just seen? No, I can't believe it, to be fair, Jules, because in the first half, it, it was really comfortable for Man United until Juan Bissaka obviously got sent off. But I still thought with the players that they've got out there and the experience they had out there, they'd go on and even not, even draw the game. There, it's, a, it's a bad mistake. Listen, Jesse, not, we don't need to sit here and highlight the mistake Jesse Lingard makes at the end. He doesn't look, he doesn't see Sim Simchek that he's going through. And once he gets in there, it's a really good finish. But I just thought in the second half, when Man United, when you're playing against, obviously, 11 men and Man United have got 10, you can keep the ball a bit better. It was just coming coming back and the Varane, Maguire, Lindelof, they had so much defending to do. So you have to credit Young Boys, but it is disappointing, Jules, because no disrespect to Young Boys, this is the weakest team in this group. I do believe Man United will still get out of the group, but it, it's not a good result. So, But credit Young Boys, they kept on going and as I said, everyone was celebrating. Every individual from the bench jumped on. But it's a brilliant result for them and David Wagner will be happy. He's got one up on Holly Gunnar Solskjaer. Yeah, we thought it was going to be boys against men tonight, but it's young boys who have come out on top <laughs> against Manchester United. Quite incredible. And David Wagner, who had a famous win for Huddersfield against Mourinho's Manchester United back in 2017, is celebrating another one. This time, he has taken down Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, and Ronaldo and co. beaten in Switzerland tonight.